Our next chapter is neurology. You know, the human brain is considered to be the most amazing invention of the process of evolution. Nothing more complex has evolved in time in history than the human brain. It's got billions of neurons and it's got trillions of connections between neurons, how neurons communicate with each other. And honestly, nobody understands the human brain completely. We want the next generation of neurologists who are inspired by this book to be able to not only understand how a human brain works, how we remember things, how we forget things. Why is it that sometimes you study for an exam, you forget it? And why is it that sometimes you study for it and you're able to remember it? So what separates what you forget from what we remember, what we understand from what we don't understand? And perhaps we can use our brains better. Even more, what we can do is that maybe we can transfer this computation and memory power to a computer. You know, a human brain needs less than uh, less electricity than a simple LED bulb needs. But it is able to process information so high that if I were to use a computer to do the same, it would perhaps require the entire energy available on the planet to process that computer. So maybe we can design better machines if we understand the human brain better. Well, a neuroscience, perhaps neuroscience shaping the brain machine interface and create a superior computing, hence developing neuros neuroscience is very critical.